welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lenora T, aka Bansa Diva. Subscribe! If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. On this channel, we do lifestyle, we do makeup, we do mama stuff, we do lifestyle. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. I truly, 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 truly appreciate you. Just don't forget to like and leave a comment, ask me questions, as many questions as you want. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family because it can help another mama out there. And so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about um, newborn must-haves. These are things that I feel like you should have in your registry. I know it can be very, very intimidating trying to decide what to put in your registry. I personally watched a lot of these videos and it really really helped me and so I hope that this video helps you the way that it did for me um, if you don't know I just had a baby August 14th of this year and so she's about to turn two months so that means I'm gonna be coming up with a two month update video pretty soon and there's just certain things that I've reached for every single time no matter what i know every baby is different every mother is different and so whatever somebody else wants will be different from what and from what another mom wants but i feel like this kind of videos just give you like a general idea of you know because there's certain things that repeat itself like no matter what video you watch whether like an african mom or like a white mom or an african-american or asian there are certain things that just keep popping up and so i want to contribute to that so if you're expecting or if you're not expect if you're expecting congratulations if you've already had your baby congratulations if you don't have a baby and you just enjoy watching content like this congratulations on your future baby because of course you're gonna have a, a baby in the future so I'm just gonna go quickly into this I don't want to talk too much I don't have the products with me right now because I'm actually using them right now so everything is just like all over the place and I don't have time to like pick it up and show you guys but I'm going to leave a clip of it right here so first things first the wipe warmer um, before I purchased this product a lot of people were like you don't need it um, wipes are not meant to be warm oh it's gonna dry out your wipes um, a lot of people just didn't think it was a necessity and then you have people that complain that their babies don't like diaper change like when it's time to change the diapers it's hell like they fight they don't want it they, they just hate the whole process of getting changed but like from day one when we came back from the hospital my baby Skylar her name is Skylar I'm gonna refer to her as Sky Sky has always loved like diaper changing like if her diaper is wet, she'll cry and let you know that her diaper is wet and then you change her and everything. She'll never cry. She loves diaper changes. And I personally think that the wipe warmer contributed to that. Some people say it dries out the, the, the wipes. But what I found out is that you have to lock it on the sides. Like if you don't lock it on both sides, it's going to dry it out. So I think the whole locking thing kind of helps the moisture from escaping. But my wipes have never dried out. I don't know what's happening to the people that say their wipes dry out. I don't know what they're doing. But my wipes have never dried out. So yeah, to me it's a must have. I'm going to just talk about all stuff that talk about uh, diaper changing. The next thing would be Vaseline. Like I just found out that there's baby Vaseline and there's regular Vaseline. I thought the general Vaseline was good for everybody. I just thought it's like, I don't know. It's a general product that everybody can use. But there's baby Vaseline and so I got mine from Target. Even though I got the one in the vase, I will recommend you get the one in the tube because it's more sanitary. Because going back in the same tub of Vaseline and out is not sanitary at all. I basically use Vaseline for every diaper change. Every time I change her, I wipe her bottom from front to back. It acts as a, a protection coat. It acts as a protection device. It acts as protection from whenever she pees or she poops. It you know protects her skin up until when I clean her even though I try to change her diaper as often as possible but for times when I'm not able to maybe we're out of the house or I have to feed her first because she's so hungry and she doesn't want a diaper change the Vaseline helps you to you know 
create that barrier between the urine or the poop and her skin. When it comes to changing, I also bought Desitin. Desitin is a diaper rash cream. I know the Vaseline is supposed to protect her, but sometimes it doesn't do that and it burns her skin and so desitin really helps when it comes to diaper rash cream it clears because when the baby has diaper rash let me tell you guys her skin looks like if you touch it, it's gonna tear it looks so raw it looks so red it looks really itchy and it, i don't know it just looks very uncomfortable when i use desitin the next time i'm changing her diaper the rash is gone so i really like desitin but i've also learned that there are different diaper rash creams so Start with whatever you're comfortable with and then you see what works for your baby. Fortunately for me, that's the first one I ever tried and it worked for us. People have to go through different brands, but Desitin worked for me and that's what I'm using at the moment. I know there's Boudreaux, Butt Paste, there's Desitin, there's Aquaphor, um, Diaper Rash Cream as well. I also have a... a a spatula I guess you can call it that way I use it to apply the desitin because desitin is really really thick I hate using my hands to apply desitin because it gets on your hands even when you apply it on her the next time you're wiping it off it's so hard to wipe it off like it just sticks to her skin so I don't like it sticking to my hands I use the um, this spatula whatever you want to call it I don't know what it's called but I use I'm gonna put a picture I use it to spread out the desitin and I really put like a thick layer on it. I don't I don't put it and then rub it all over. I just put it like a very thick layer and it works just fine. Uh next thing for changing is the the Primo Euro Spa Bath and Changing Center. I love this thing so much because first of all, it's very tall. Um it has compartments where you can keep stuff. You can also use it to bathe the baby, you can use it to change the baby. That one stays in our room, it doesn't stay in the nursery. We have another changing station in the nursery and we have one in our room for in the middle of the night when she wakes up. I just wake up and change her right there. I don't have to go back to her nursery just to change her. And so I like it because it's really tall, because I'm tall, I'm 5'8", I'm not 5'8", wow, I'm actually 5'8". Five seven five, I rounded up to eight. I'm five eight, so I'm five eight, and I'm really tall. I don't want any changing station that I'll have to, you know, be bending over. My husband is really tall as well. He's six three, so that really comes in handy. Shout out to Auntie Petra. She bought this for us. Um, her and her husband are also very tall, and so they found this very very helpful. We don't use it to bathe the baby, but we use it for um, diaper changes. We use the top bar for diaper changes. And it's really, really, really easy to do it. And I really like this stuff. So if it interests you, you should get it. Uh, last but not the least for changing diaper change stuff. Um, we have, we bought changing pad liners. Um, I'm going to put a picture, but it's just, you know, like this liner that we put on top of the changing pad. We have a changing pad cover and then we have the pads. So I like the pads because if I'm changing her and let's say she pees and it goes through or she poops while I'm changing her, it goes on the pad before it gets to the changing pad cover, if you know what I mean. And so I'm able to change out these um, pad liners easily. I think it's very convenient. It's waterproof. We have probably like 10 of them so that we just change them every time. If she poops on it, you just throw it in the washer. If she pees on it, you throw it in the washer. But the um, changing pad stays on there and we just have to switch out um, the liners. I'm going to talk about the Ubi diaper pill. This is her diaper pill. It stays in our room because that's where we change her the most. So it stays in our room. Um, I love this diaper pill because it takes any trash bag like you can put any trash bag of your choice in there uh, You can close it and lock it up and you know Like if you have a toddler if you have children at home You don't want them messing with it You can lock it up and they won't be able to open it and when you seal it it seals It's in our room like I don't smell poop I don't smell anything in our room because that stuff seals stuff up. When I was researching on diaper pills, a lot of people were saying that the ubi pill stinks, like the, the, the smell escapes, but I've not had that problem. So thank God I bought it and I did not listen to those reviews because there's so many diaper pills out there. But especially the diaper genie, I think, the diaper genie, yeah. 
um, that one was really popular but I didn't like it because it had special trash bags and a special thing that you had to put it inside and I did not have time to be buying you know that means you constantly have to be buying um, those special trash bags from Amazon or from Walmart or from Target but with this Ubi diaper pill you can use any trash bag you want even the one that you use in your kitchen you can just use some for your um, your baby so moving on from diaper change stuff um, I'm gonna move on to like hanging out stuff like stuff things that we put her on when we want our hands to be free so first and foremost I'm going to talk about the boppy lounger like this stuff is I don't know is the best ever like this is probably one of the most used things after the diaper changing pad the boppy lounger we've used this so much from when she came from the hospital till now we still use this stuff and I'm pretty sure she's gonna keep using it for the next couple of months so the boppy lounger is just like a lounger we put her on it when we want to watch TV sometimes she just likes to be independent and it's also important because you don't want your baby to get used to hands like they say so we just put her on it to chill when we're watching TV she sits there she watches TV with us but yeah, this stuff is really good. I really like it. I also use it for taking pictures because it's white, it's black and white and a little bit of gray. And I use it for taking pictures because it's neutral colors and so it goes with every outfit and I can take pictures on it. The Snuggle Me, Snuggle Me Organic, I love this stuff. It's just like the Boppy Lounger but it's more elongated and so she can like, she sleeps inside. And I like it because it like cocoons her inside so it's like it feels like arms like when you put her inside it feels like someone is holding her and so she feels she feels really safe and she sleeps really you know nicely in this thing they say don't let the baby sleep on it but I didn't say you can let the baby sleep on it but we let her sleep on it just for short naps when we don't want to put her in the room we want her next to us so we can watch her and we used it a lot when she was like newborn newborn she's still newborn she'll always be newborn even when she's 10 months old she'll be newborn so please keep your opinion to yourself okay <laughs> but yeah we used it a lot when she came back from the hospital because she was really tiny and it also helped her like with the how do you call it i've forgotten the name i don't know what it's called i'll leave the name here but that motion where babies feel like they're falling it helps them because it feels like someone is holding them so yeah, Snuggle Me is really good. It's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it, I promise. The Baby Swing, how could I forget the Baby Swing? Uh, we're using the Fisher Prize um, Baby Swing. Uh, she likes it also. She sometimes sleeps in it. It swings back and forth. It has different speeds. Um, it has a thing. Right now, she pays attention to the thing that spins on top of her and there's like a mirror so she likes to like stare at it like she loves to stare at it she really loves to stare at the fan so when that's spinning on top of her she's already like because at this age at two months they see a lot of patterns and, and mirrors and seeing their reflection and something that's spinning they like that a lot so that really keeps her calm uh, you can play different, you know, lullabies on it and you'll swing her back and forth and the thing on top of her is spinning. So I really like to put her down there when I want to do something and I need her to be somewhere that is safe because it's really safe. It's kind of really deep and it has like seat belts, you know, to keep her safe. So yeah, and she likes it. She's even started falling asleep in it, which is perfect and she can fall asleep and sleep in it for a long time okay diaper bag my diaper bag is so perfect I love it so so much I'm gonna leave a picture right here but it is so pretty it is so chic it's so affordable it's so perfect um, it meets all the needs of like a modern mom and for the price when you go on their website when I saw the price I was so shook like it's so so affordable when I looked at other diaper bags on the market there's so many diaper bags out there everybody now is about the backpack style um, diaper bag because you don't want to put all the weight on your shoulder you want to be able to balance it out you know on both shoulders and so it's so perfect you can use both sides you can use it as like a handbag you can use it as a cross bag, you can use it as a backpack. And so when you open the top part, you can put diapers in there. And then inside you have like a bottle holder that has like the, um, it's insulated. So it keeps 
the baby's milk warm and then you have like an extra purse in there that you can use to keep extra stuff maybe wipes or your phone i personally use the the little bag in there for my own stuff to separate it from baby stuff and then the space in there is so like you, i put in so many things i put in like blankets extra clothes extra shoes um pacifier extra socks and it also comes to the changing pad it also comes to the changing pad so to me it's just like a whole lot of stuff for the price that it comes at it's like mind-blowing to me so you guys check out their website and definitely get you one of those diaper bags it is so chic so beautiful it comes in pink in black and in brown moving on I'm going to talk about the nose Frida the nose Frida is basically a device that I use to suck out <laughs> Kata from her nose whenever she has a cold or she has like boogie in her nose I use this device to suck it out let me tell you guys a short story right so growing up when I was about 13 or 14 um, my mom gave birth to my baby brother and we were basically like his babysitters so one day I was home by myself with him there was no adult around like nobody it was just me and him and he had a cold so I'm carrying him and I notice that he's suffocating. He cannot breathe because there's kata in his nose. You know when you have kata and both when you know when you have a cold and both of your nostrils are like completely blocked. That's what was happening to him. But at this point he's a baby. He's probably like two months old. And babies at that age, they don't know they can breathe with their mouth. It's not like us that if our nostrils get blocked, we breathe with our mouth. They don't know that. And so because he cannot breathe with his nose, he starts suffocating. I'm telling you, nobody has ever told me this. Natural instinct. I just bent over, I held his nostrils, and I sucked it out. And immediately, it was instant relief. Like, he was, he like caught his breath, and I was like so happy because he was, he was gonna die. Like, bro, I had to do what I had to do. Whenever I tell people this story, they're like, you suck kata. Yeah, I sucked it, and I went and spat it out, and I did not die. Like, People need to chill, okay? Especially if it's your own baby, natural instinct, you're gonna do it. I promise you. But anyway, the nose free that kind of does the same thing, but um, there's something that stops it from entering your mouth. So it stays in that tube part, and then after that, you can go rinse it out and everything. I really love this device. It works perfectly, but it doesn't work for uh, like kata that is dried up. You have to use like a nose spray to um get the dry ones but somehow it kind of pulls it out a little bit and then i use like q-tips my auntie showed me this tip um i take q-tips i apply a little bit of vaseline on it and i use it to clean um the baby's nostrils that way it cleans the kata and at the same time it applies vaseline inside the nostrils which helps to like keep their nostrils um moisturized it doesn't leave their nostrils dry because when you wipe the q-tip in there it can really like you know dry out their nose and you know that doesn't feel good so yeah by the way nose frida is by frida baby frida baby is like they have so many cool baby stuff like innovative baby stuff modern baby stuff it's mind-blowing like how did you guys think about this so the next thing is their nail cutter um it comes with a nail cutter and it comes um a nail file cutting a baby's nails it's really terrifying let me tell you guys it's really really terrifying but with this um, Frida baby nail cutter it makes it so easy I wanted to cut Sky's nails and I tried to use it and I realized that the cut the cutting part of the nail cutter does not cut like a regular nail cutter it's it's designed in such a way that it's not going to cut your baby's finger I don't know how to explain it you have to see it in person to understand but the way it cuts it it like cuts just the tip of the nail in such a way that even if you go too deep it's just gonna take just the top part of it and it's not going to hurt the baby when it cuts just that top part I take a nail file I take the nail file that comes with it and I file the baby's nails uh, just to get rid of the excess long nail or whatever uh, next thing is the Kinsa I think it's called Kinsa thermometer um, it's just a regular thermometer um, I was gonna get the thermometer that um, you you like the covid type that everyone's using that you do on the baby's forehead but i didn't get that i just got a regular thermometer that goes under their armpit or in their butt um 
I like this one because I can connect it to my phone and then when I connect it to my phone it tells me like it tells me baby's temperature and then if baby's temperature is high it recommends what you need to do um, if the baby has a fever it will, it will advise you on what to do um, if baby is normal temperature it will tell you baby's temperature is normal um, my husband can log on to it, I can log on to it and see the baby's temperature. I really like this thermometer, it's really advanced. Um, maybe in the future I get the other one, but I feel like this one works, it does the same job. And yeah, she doesn't fight me, so, so far so good. Next thing we're going to talk about, uh, baby bottles. So, I, did, I personally put the baby list um, bottles on my registry so it's basically a box that comes with samples of different baby bottles it came with um, Avino it came with Dr. Brown it came with Komotomo the Nook it came with a Nook bottle I think no I'm gonna leave everything here but it came with the, the small sample size of every bottle because uh, from my research babies are picky with bottles and so this gives you a chance you and the baby a chance to decide what bottle you want before you go out and get you know a whole bunch of bottles rather than just buying a whole set of bottles and then your baby comes and the baby doesn't like the bottles it does happen to people and so I made the decision to you know try out those samples but I will say that I was confident about the Komotomo bottles I saw a lot of good reviews about it and I was confident and so even though I had the sample of the other bottles I still had the Komotomo bottles and someone on my registry someone bought it from my registry for us and so I was like if she doesn't like the Komotomo bottles if she doesn't like the sample of the Komotomo bottle then I'll return the full set of the Komotomo bottles and buy what bottle she likes so I was thinking you know I was thinking in such a way that I don't lose in any situation so I did not open the Komotomo bottles but I was confident that it was a good one and then I I wanted her to try all the other bottles and then from there I'll know which one she likes and then I'll, I can either use the Komotomo bottles if she likes it or I can get whatever she likes. So luckily for us she liked the Komotomo bottles and that's what we've been using so far and that's what we're going to keep using. Uh, the Komotomo bottles come uh, two four ounces, yeah two four ounce bottles and then two eight ounce bottles I think, I think it's eight ounces. But right now, she's using the 4 ounce bottles because she only drinks highest 4 ounces. Like when she's super hungry, she drinks 4 ounces. And then it comes with different nipple heads. Um, right now she's on stage 1 which has just one hole. And then stage 2 has two holes, stage 3. It just changes as the baby grows because um, you want the flow to mimic that of the, the breast so that she doesn't stop or she doesn't you know stop wanting breast milk and Komotomo bottles are really nice because they really try to mimic like how the breast is and how the nipple is and it's really soft it's squishy to me they're just like really quality bottles so yeah I really love Komotomo bottles next we're going to talk about the Miku monitor the Miku monitor is a baby camera, a baby monitor that stays in her room, it's on top of her crib. Miku sent that camera to me, but if you ask me, it's a camera that I would get, whether they are sent it to me or not, that's a camera I would get. However, I was considering the outlet because you have the outlet socks and the outlet camera, and it's the same price as the Miku, but it depends on what you want. The outlet comes as a sock where you wear it on the baby's foot and it measures the their respiration, their oxygen, and all of that. You can get all that information on your phone. Now the Miku does the same thing, but now you don't have to wear anything on the baby. You don't have to wear any sock. The camera just like taps the information directly from the baby, tells the baby's heart rate, baby's oxygen, tells when the baby's awake, when the baby's sleeping, and then you can see all of that on your phone as well. It also has really good night vision, so whether the lights are off or the lights are on, whether it's dark or it's sunlight you can see clearly like the vision is really good you can also get sound from the baby's room everything that's happening in the baby's room you can hear it on your phone as well as you can talk to the baby let's say you're at work and you want to talk to the baby you can talk to the baby through your phone or through the app 
So I really like the Miku camera, the Mi the Miku monitor. Um, I could have gotten the outlet as well, but Miku sent it to me and so I was super grateful. Because I also heard horror stories about the outlet socks um, with electrocution and all of that. The baby sleeping with, you know, this device on their leg. So I'm happy that Miku sent that camera to me. And honestly, I recommend it to everybody. Someone reached out to me on Instagram asking, like, what's your honest, honest review? Like, I know you're just saying this because they sent it to you. Would you really recommend it? Yes, I will recommend it to you. It's really perfect. I would say the only downside is that you have to use your phone to see the baby. And someone like me, I'm always on my phone, on Instagram. You can hear sound from the baby's room. So I can be on Instagram, but the app is going to be in the background and I can still hear sound from the baby's room. Like I can hear her if she's crying or if someone walks in there, I can hear it. But, and then if I want to see, I can just go back to the app and see and watch the baby. So every time I'm on my phone and I'm doing something, I remember I go back and check on the baby. And I can hear everything that's happening in her room. Now the only downside is, when I'm watching a video on YouTube, it completely, the app disappears. I cannot hear anything from the baby's room. I can't see anything unless I go to the app. So that's the only thing. It's not compatible with YouTube at all because YouTube, you know, it's videos. A simple solution to that is that you can have an iPad or you have another phone in the house that you don't use. You can use that. Or your husband, if he's not using his phone, he can have that on, which is what happens most of the time. So many people can connect onto the same camera, but you have to be the one to give them permission. And so they can watch the baby while you're maybe watching a video or you're in the shower or stuff like that. So that's the only downside I'll, I'll say it has. But apart from that, to me, that's a minor hiccup and that's not like a major thing. So I do recommend the Miku camera. It's perfect. It's one of the best in the market. So yeah, you should consider it. And also as a first time mom, it's very easy for you to lose sleep over trying to see if your baby's okay, constantly checking on her, is the baby breathing, is she fine? This app does that for you. Peace of mind. If something goes wrong, it sends an alarm to your phone, like something is wrong, and then you can go check on the baby. But I really feel like it gives you peace of mind, like it tracks all of those things. And it also tells you how long baby has been sleeping. It tells you when baby fell asleep. It tells you when baby wakes up and stuff like that. So yeah. Next is the Hatch Rest Sound Machine. I love the sound machine so much. It's right next to her bassinet um, in our room. It produces white noise. If you don't know what white noise is, it's a sound that helps babies to sleep better. It drowns out all the noise in the room or from the house. Because usually by the time she's going to bed, we're still awake doing stuff. And so this sound machine, white noise, um, kind of like blurs out all of that noise for her to sleep pretty good as well as like waves and like rainfall and like birds chirping or like um yeah thunderstorm or lullabies just whatever sound you want it has it it also has night lights in such a way that the room is not completely dark and we can use it to like um, change her or go grab a bottle without necessarily turning on the lights and one thing I also like about it is that you can connect it to your phone they have an app on iPhone or Android I connect it to my phone and I set it up in such a way that at 9 30 every night which is when I start her nighttime routine I have a nighttime routine for her every night so that she knows that it's time for bed and she's not playing around because I don't have time to be staying up till midnight at 9 30 uh, by the time we're coming to get ready for her bath and, you know, shower her and change her into her nightwear, um, the night light comes on, uh, the sound machine starts playing. I come in, I bathe her, I give her a bottle, and then I put her to sleep. All of this with the light on. The only light on is the light from the... the um, from the sound machine. So, another thing is the lights. You can use it to train your baby. Because um, at 9.30 I've set it to do those things and then I can set it at 8.30 in the morning, at 9 a.m. in the morning. It's going to play like birds chirping and then white light. It's such a way that when 
she wakes up in the morning she sees white light she knows it's time to wake up um, you can even train your baby to the point where if the baby wakes up and she sees that the white light is not on yet it's still like the orange light from the previous night they're gonna stay in their bed quietly until they see the white light and then they know that it's time to wake up and then they'll alert you to wake up I did my research guys I'm not saying these things out of just space okay you can train your babies to do these things so that they don't wake up at 4 a.m. and they're disturbing you when they see that the white light is not on they will sleep till they see white light or they're going to stay and hang out in their bed until they see white light or they hear birds chirping then they know it's morning and it's time to wake up if you see orange light and you're still hearing white noise go back to sleep my friend next I'm going to talk about her tummy time mat um, at this age she's doing a lot of tummy time it's supposed to help her neck get stronger her shoulders get stronger preparing her for when she starts crawling and so uh, this Fisher Price tummy um, time mat is perfect she loves it I love how you have like the keyboard at the bottom where she's kicking her feet she's playing different sounds uh, she can also play with the stuff above her if you put her on her tummy as well it acts as a gym and it also acts as a tummy time mat so I love it, it's very versatile, it stays on the floor in her nursery and she loves that stuff and it's inexpensive shout out to her bestie Malaika Bell who bought it for her hey girl, hey last but not the least I'm going to talk about her bassinet which is the snow by happiest baby I had seen so many good reviews about the snow you can buy the snow it's quite expensive I hate that I'm putting it in here because it's quite expensive but it is worth it I've had a good experience with it not everybody has but I have had a good experience with it you can rent it if you want uh, you can buy it if you want a lot of people go through the renting route but we decided to buy it because I feel like it's a good investment and even if Sky grows out of it we can always sell it or give a family member or she could have another sibling who knows <laughs> the snow is basically a bassinet that uses the whole concept of if in the middle of the night she starts crying it tries to soothe her it'll go level one level two level three level four and if the baby is still not calming down it's gonna alert you and tell you that your baby needs your attention i really love this bassinet there's also like a swaddle in there where you can swaddle the baby and it keeps her like you know safe I can do another video all about the snow because I feel like there's so much into the snow that I cannot just like rush over it but I can tell you guys for sure that it's really helped uh, right now Sky is sleeping for like five hours a night the least she'll sleep is like three hours at this age that's totally normal but I feel like the snow has really helped her to be able to be that independent to sleep by herself and sleep for long stretches at night so if you guys want to do a video about the snow let me know but you can do your own research if you have any questions let me know but yeah that's a must have for me I don't know about any other bassinets so I'm only gonna talk about what I know so yeah guys we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching these are my newborn must haves if you have any questions feel free to ask me I really hope I did not forget anything um, yeah thank you so much share with another mama that this video can help and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. 